how many snakes would you estimate you've handled in your career? I've milked over 40,000 snakes, so counting non-venomous snakes, you know, I've worked with you know, hundreds of thousands of snakes so far in my career. And so far in your career, how many times have you been bitten? The snake, snake bite does happen, of course. You know, there's an inevitability in some regard working with any sort of dangerous animal. So of the 40,000 snakes that I've milked or the over 100,000 venomous snakes that I've worked with, I've had 27 snake bites so far. I've also broken 24 bones, including my back twice, three places on the first occasion, about 480 stitches, three concussions, three stingray envenomations, and one near fatal scorpion sting while deep, deep in the Amazon one time. And who's counting? <laughs> Wasn't the first snake bite enough to turn you off your dream job? That particular snake bite wasn't going to turn me off from my chosen career. There was one snake bite, though, that was about as close as I was going to come to maybe taking up butterflies as a new career choice, that it was a Stevens banded snake that bit me during my PhD early on. The first thing it did was knock me out almost immediately. And I remember as I was collapsing, thinking, wow, this is kind of an unusual effect for snake bites where they don't normally work so fast. You know, this could be something worth studying. Clunk. And it was a case of where I made a nice silver lining out of this very dark cloud that during the course of my PhD, I ended up isolating what it was that knocked me out so quickly very early on in the snake bite. And we actually ended up patenting that at the end of my PhD as a new treatment for high blood pressure. So there you go, and you survived, most importantly. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.